Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stanley111 and welcome back to the crew. We ended up here and then the game did some mucking up touchwood. Doesn't happen again, but just continue on this cutscene. So we ended in about 15 seconds from now. Nice wee news update there. I'm not going to bother with that sort of stuff. Because I am going away this weekend, sadly. <laughs> oh. Why would you why would you not keep the gun? Because one, you might need it again, and two, the police have evidence against you. Stupid criminals. I reiterate. The police or the FBI, FBI are horrible. No. Right. So didn't do a proper introduction because I didn't actually expect it to start here. Oh, five years later. My name is Dally111 and welcome to the crew. This is part two. Um, I'm doing this just because. What? Why the hell not? It's a crew. And it's a new game, so I thought, yeah, you guys might enjoy watching a little bit more of it. Hello, Alex. My name's Zoe. Hey, Zoe. How are you doing? I think we can help each other. You know these guys, right? Of course you do. One killed your brother, the other framed you for his murder. Here's the deal. I want this guy. Special Agent Coburn, he's dead. All I need is proof. And you want this guy, Dennis Jefferson, a.k.a. The Ship, leader of the Flat 10 Motor Club. I'm in. You got eight more years in here. You can wipe that slate clean and clear your name. I said I'm in. Okay. You're hereby working for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I got nothing against being on the right side of the law. There's a ride in the shop across town. I'll be in touch. I'm cheap and less. <laughs> Whatever gets you stuck. Hopefully, my character Alex hooks up with her later on. Let's get ready to kick ass. Let's take him down. That asshole who killed my brother. Alex Taylor's my name. Alright, let's get cracking. Rocking and rolling. Kicking ass. Taking names. Oh, damn. That wasn't a good. That was not good texture there on the back of that taxi in that close up. All right. We have a budget for this operation, Alex, but it's limited. I've given you enough cash to buy and set up your first ride. Spend it wisely. After that, you'll have to fund upgrades yourself. They're all available to test drive, so take them for a spin if you're unsure. Right. Chevrolet, Nissan, or Mustang. Oh. Muscle cars are my end. Oh, they're all nice. F oh, five grand. Or 22 and a half. S five, two, five CC, right, let's. I'm not sure. Um, Top speed. 
Doesn't have a top speed. 155. Let's give it a test drive. If I like the drive of it, I'll buy it. Dodge Challenger. Right, let's get cracking. Right, it's not 3 2 on there, it's just a wee run around the block, is it? Oh, is it just get basically a race? Okay. I'm not sure I like this. Right, I'll test drive all of them until I find a car that I like. And it turns out I don't like any of them. Okay, right. I still don't. Okay. And I'm not even a, a good driver. Let's try the for Mustang because I I think that will be the better shot with me. I oh and I failed. Right, let's pause this again. Okay, apparently I'm not allowed to check the options. I really want to know what the. Right, I I know I'm not gonna like it. I don't like it. Can I not go down? Here we go. Options. Right. Handbrake is X. So I uh, hit that. I'm using a controller. It doesn't feel like it before when I hit X. Right. Let's abort. <coughs> Still got a bit of a cough. Let's have a little quick test drive of the Mustang. And then we'll get cracking on with the story. I'm not sure. Hmm. You know what? I'm 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 tempted to go with the the Japanese joint. It could be fast. It doesn't have a top speed. It could be very fast and good at corners because you know Japanese cars are good for drifting. That's the the stereotype of Japanese fastish cars, such as I believe this is the Z type. Yes. Yeah, um. Acceleration's pretty good. Let's see how we roll with this corner. Oh! A bit of oversteer there at the end. Not the best. Bosh. That was better. Let's go for this last one last one. Mm. Uh, let's just go for one last one. This is the very last corner I'm going to do in this car. Oh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to go with it. I mean, I can buy another car once I... Yeah, screw it. I can buy other cars. Just jump in this. Car dealer, I don't care, just blow. I wanna get on with this story, I wanna drive some races. Showroom. Bish Bosh bye. Crew credits. Nice. Right. We now own the 370Z. Or Z. Z sounds cooler. Oh, a little bit untextured land there. Or above textured. Right, let's get going. Let's get cracking. We have to abide to the law to an extent now. Alex, there are car dealers like this all across the country. Each dealer has a different stock of cars. So you might want to swing by each and take a look. There are 510 tuners all over the country who specialize in different car modifications. As this operation progresses, you'll need to access these tuners. But for now, let's get you a street ride. Street spec cars are lightly modified rides, built for street racing and tuned for the open road. Most common 510 ride for a reason, Street spec should be your first choice for cross country road trips. Right, let's do this.
Um, driving test. Car tuner. I want to race. God damn it. What's this? Jump skill. I presume that we have to go to the driving. To the, the DMV. Save my point. There's a tuner across town. I'll send the location to your phone. Call me when you're done. Right. Test. Oh, damn. A bit overdrifting there. You know what I've always wanted in a game? Like a racing game. To make it similar to GTA to an extent. Where you can get out of your car and get in another car. But it has amazing, you know, racing. Oh, God. We're going to get penalised for this. These crashes later on because we have to be on the good side of the law now. But yeah, like GTA 5 is great and all, but I don't really th like it is supposed to have great driving experience off a uh, midnight run, is it? I can't remember. Some racing game Alex, that isn't that good. That full stock ride, are you? Get over to the tuner and get fitted for street spec. I don't know if we're supposed to be here. Let's just not bother with the <coughs> driving test. 5 a.m. Alex, you're not planning to race me in that full Shut stop up. ride, are you? Get over <laughs> Shut the up, ho. She's not as hot in the. Uh, she <laughs> she doesn't look real at all in the uh, that little thing. But it's beta. It's in beta. Damn, I gotta get used to driving controls. By that, I mean, I, I just need to get good. <sighs> Enter. Bosh. Let's <coughs> get this car pro okay, properly Alex. tuned up. Let's get your ride fitted for streets back. Like the sound of this. Come on. Right. Every car you buy at a car dealer is a full stock ride, ready to improve at a tuner. There is one tuner per region, and you can buy a different spec starter kit from each of them. These kits transform your vehicle for different terrain types. After fitting a spec starter kit, you can buy car parts that are automatically installed on your vehicle. Installing mechanical car parts increases your vehicle's car level. The higher the car level, the better it performs. Nice. So I'm talking about okay. Squat level one. Looking good. Street. The streets. Start. Okay. Right, streetcar purchased. Okay. Let's tune the car up. Performance. Alright, let's just get out of here. I, I don't know if... Uh, we're supposed to, it's got a great feature there that it comes apart and all that. Let's go leave the car tuner. Alex, come over to the location I'm sending you now. I want to see how you handle yourself. Right. Got someone called Daniel here. Bosh. Nice we crash. I think that might be another player. So you trying to give me the slip? It won't work. Back off, I'm coming.
Alright, let's go. Right, we're 8.30 in Detroit now. You've been inside for a long time. Let's see if you remember how to do this. Let's do this. Let's get cracking. Now I know how to handbrake. Hopefully, that is beneficial to me. You know the deal. Here's the fine print. Oh no! After Coburn first, Shiv second. Anyone else I arrest on the way is a bonus. I'm not helping you take down the whole five tens. I'm interested in dirty cops and murderers, and that's it. Speaking of murderers, we're putting Shiv away for life. You kill him, you're back in that cell. I really want to kill him though. Don't know why, just do. Should probably get that checked out. Duh! That, why do you need me to get him? Coburn's weakness is the five tens. He's got half the FBI in his pocket. If I came at him with a regular investigation, he'd see it with his eyes closed. But if I get an inside eye on Shiv's operation, we get the phone. You've got the skills and motivation to see this through. As I crash into a car lot. Good job. Oh, way too early. Three seconds behind. This is not looking good. Oh, didn't think I'd be that fast, but I got I caught myself a little bit up. So where are we going now? I've set up an HQ. We need somewhere safe, Gosh. somewhere your crew can work to support you. My crew? Your crew. A point man's only as good as the team that stands behind him. I'm really bad at driving. And this is, kids, this is why I, Stally111, do not want to learn how to drive until I'm at least 21. Also, it would be much more beneficial to uh, my financial situation. got to tell me that it's not even... Oh, okay. Mission failed. Let's retry this. <coughs> I'm not failing a mission. I fucked it up. I don't fucking care. I know I've been inside, okay? Oh, okay. I don't think um, the handbrake turns is uh, unrealistic as other games. I think I'll just stick to the normal brake unless it's a proper turn. That's it. Speaking of murderers, we're putting Shiv away for life. You kill him, you're back in that cell. I know I am. You've already told me this, you know, a few minutes ago when I did this exact thing. Sorry. For Coburn, I get that, but why do you need me to get it? Coburn's weakness is the five tens. He's got half the FBI in his pocket. If oh, I for fuck's sake! Investigation, he'd see it with his eyes closed. But if I get an inside eye on Shiv's operation, Sorry, but the language, but language, but... You've got the skills and motivation to see this through. Regular traffic just screwed me over big time there. If I bring this back... I will be very, very ten freaking seconds because of that cock. <sighs> yeah, that really made me angry. Eight seconds. We brought, we're bringing this back. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. I've set up an HQ. We need somewhere. No, we're we're definitely not gonna make it. My crew. Your crew. Appointment's only as good as the team. Maybe I can bring it back. That skill. That skill. Come on. Don't fuck me over again, traffic. Oh. Bossing it, bossing it, bossing it. Finish line. Suck on this. Nitrous oxide. And bibbity bobbity boo. So. We've got her. Done it. Wait, I don't know. Was this the driving test thing again? A five ten.
Level 2, ECU Park. Nice. Impact 1. Right. Auto equipped. Equipped, sorry. <coughs> Make it a level 12, right. Continue. So we both start. Second time. But still, we still won. That's okay, all that pass. matters. In here. I think you're going to like this place. I think I might too. HQ, eh? Like it or not, this is home for the foreseeable. Here, I've been laying out the basic intel so far. The 510 Motor Club. What started as an illegal street racing club has over the last five years developed into a sophisticated gang network with chapters in every state. Boosted cars go southwest. Contraband comes back northeast. In short, if you can fit it into a road vehicle, the 510s are smuggling it. Our two targets, FBI Special Agent Bill Coburn. We know he's fallen from grace. We just need the proof. And Dennis Jefferson, a.k.a. Shit. Together, they've transformed the 510s. Coburn provides introductions and protection from law enforcement, while Shiv does the wet work. The 510s denote rank with tattoos. Shiv's the king, the V8. Infiltrate the 510 Motor Club. Earn your ink and climb its hierarchy. You find the evidence I need to put Coburn away, and we'll take Shiv down with it. You'll need a pledge from a chapter head to get your first 510 tattoo. Make your rep on the local circuit, get on that ladder, and don't stop until you reach it. Let's kick his ass. I'm set up in here where you can manage your perks, upgrades for your cars, and abilities. The more you progress, the more perks you can equip. Here's your collection board. You'll find one like it in every dealer and tuner. The board lets you manage your cars and their specs. It also gives you quick access to all the dealers and tuners in the world. In your HQ workshop, you can install parts you've bought at a tuner, as well as those you've won by completing missions. It's essential to install the best parts you have to improve your ride's car level and performance. You can also customize your ride with paints, decals, and cosmetic parts. Any damage you sustain can also be repaired in the workshop. Nice. Alright, I'm just going to say thank you very much for watching. My name is Stanley Willowin. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you've not done so already. Really appreciate it. Do you want me to continue? What do you think of the game so far? Tell me down in the comments. Um, I am enjoying it. I've got to say, it is impressing me, and I'm considering buying the full version. No, like, yeah, this is the full version, but I doubt I'm going to complete it all, because it's going to be massive. I mean, it's supposed to be got 70 gigabytes of the final version, final cut, whatever. The non beta you dick anyway thank you very much my name is sally willowin i again i've already said that so for any interruptions with the uh, family members or background noise i have this sometimes sorry anyway see you guys next time on the next video i don't see why you'd see me anywhere else peace off guys